Hey friends, welcome back to another Freebie Friday. This week we are sewing up the Gus and Steel Rolled Hem Shorts. It's a super quick, easy pattern for sewing up shorts for little ones. Uh, the size range is zero to three months, all the way up to 10, 11. So pretty good size range there for any, all your little, little ones. Um, and it's super easy. You just need three pieces. You need a front, a back, you're going to need some one inch elastic and then if you want to add drawstring you can either make some or buy buy some i'm using this lanyard ribbon i got from zombie bunny that i absolutely love um and then one thing before we get started i did put a clip on my back piece just so that i can remember what what is the front and what is the back later on you can kind of tell by the um, curve of the back piece the waist of the back piece and front piece but it just helps to clip it so Let's get started. We need to lay our front piece down right side up and then we are going to put our back piece right sides together with our front piece and then align that side edge there and um, just pin or clip it, making sure those raw edges are all lined up and then we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so while sewing this, I am using a serger, which you can totally use or if you just have a regular sewing machine, just make sure you're using a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. Okay, now that we've got one side sewn up, we just need to do the same thing to the other side. So same thing, just make sure those raw edges of the sides line up um, and then pin and clip it so that it doesn't move on you or wiggle. And then we are going to, again, sew a quarter inch seam allowance along that side edge. Okay, now that the two side edges are sewn together, we just need to sew this crotch curve together and then we're almost done. So um, make sure the raw edges of the crotch curve line up. And then um, one tip when sewing this, because it is a curve, it can get kind of tricky. So instead of trying to sew it on the curve, what you're gonna do is you're just going to manipulate the fabric so that it kind of creates more of a straight line it's gonna make it way easier to sew it. So don't stretch it or pull it, just kind of bring it down while you're sewing it to bring it to a straighter line. Okay, now that our sides and our crotch seam are all sewn together, our shorts are officially put together and we just need to now add our, our elastic. So flip the shorts right sides out and then we need to prep the elastic piece first. So you're gonna take your elastic, you are going to overlap it by a quarter inch, and then what you can do is you can either sew a square around that lap overlapping, and then sew like an X in the middle of it. But what I do, I kinda of cheat. I just fold it in half, and then sew it, again, sew it in my serger several times. I know that's probably not the right way to do it, and somebody's gonna be, you know up in arms but that's how I do it it works really well for me my elastic doesn't come apart um, just make sure when you do it that you don't clip off any of the elastic just the um, the threads and now that our elastic piece is all prepped we are going to quarter the elastic piece and then we need to quarter our waistband so to quarter the elastic we are going to take that seam that we just put in and that's going to be our first quarter point and then on the exact opposite end of that seam, that is going to be our second quarter point. So, and then we're going to line those two points up and the one, the fold at the top and the bottom is now our third and fourth quarter point. So now that we've got our elastic quartered, let's go ahead and um, quarter our waistband. As you can see, you can kind of see the curve in the back is a little higher than the curve in the front. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that pin, the clip off of the back so it doesn't confuse me later. Um, fold your shorts in half so that the two side seams are touching. And then the where it's folded in the back is gonna be your first quarter point. And then where it's folded in the front is your second quarter point. And then align those two quarter points up and it should be right at your seam there. Um, it just worked out that way. Those are gonna be your two second quarter points. Now here, I'm just stretching my elastic, giving it a bit of a workout so that it's a little pre-stretched before I add it in. And then I'm gonna match those quarter points of my shorts up. Um, match the quarter points from the shorts to the quarter points of the elastic. Um, you are going to have to stretch the elastic when we sew to get it to fit. But it's really important when we do this that we just stretch the elastic and not the fabric. 
So we need to sew around using a quarter inch seam allowance. And again, like I said, just stretch the elastic, not the fabric. Okay, now that our elastic is attached to our waistband, what we need to do is we just need to fold that elastic down so that it's completely covered by the fabric. So just fold it down once so that um, the elastic is, it's just the elastic's at the top and the bottom of your fold there. Then what we need to do is we need to top stitch right at the bottom of that elastic. When we top stitch, we are going to pull the fabric and the elastic to get it to be nice and straight because if we sew it with those um, wrinkles in there, it's not going to look nice, trust me. So just make sure when we top stitch that you pull it, you pull it so it's straight. Um, the fabric isn't wrinkly, it's straight. Um, and then we need to make sure too the top stitch goes right at the bottom of that elastic. Um, now here I'm using my cover stitch machine, which I absolutely love, but you can do this again on a regular machine using a zigzag stitch or um, a stretch stitch or a lightning stitch, whichever one you prefer. I would go through and do two just so that it really can hold. So do a line and then um, probably about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, make another line just again so it gives it a little bit more stability. Um, if you're using a cover stitch, don't forget to overlap your stitches by about an inch or two, inch and a half or two, um, just so that you can really make sure those first stitches are locked in. And then just pull your threads to the front, clip them, and then pull your fabric to the back so that the threads get brought to the back. Great. Now that our waistband is all finished and top stitched, now all that's left is to put the rolled hems in and add our drawstring string if we want to. So um, depending on what size you make, this is going to be a little bit different, but we do need to um, roll up the hem one time according to the size that you're using. So I'm doing three fourth inches and then you're going to roll it up a second time at the same amount. Um, and that's just going to encase that raw edge um, fully in your fabric so you won't be able to see it. So on both sides, just fold it up once the amount that it says and then fold it up the same amount again. Now what we need to do is we are going to where the um, seams are, we are just going to sew straight up and down the seam, do a little tack stitch, and then I'm gonna go ahead and sew across the top of the seam as well. So on all four seams, we're gonna just sew straight up and down and then across as well. Okay, so here you can see, I made sure my seam was laying flat and then I sewed up and then I went and back stitched all the way back down just to make sure it's really up there and then sewed up again. And now I'm just gonna do a little tack stitch at the top. A tack stitch, it's just, I just did a straight stitch, probably two stitches forward, two stitches back. And then I'm just gonna do that to all four sides, making sure that those hems are um, pretty even and rolled up nicely so that they don't get wrinkly or weird or anything. Um, so yeah, make sure too that when you do this that your fabric is not like bunched up underneath your, your hems or anything like that because you don't want it to get um, caught in them and create a, a wrinkle.
Okay, now that we tacked up the sides, we're gonna add a tack stitch to the front middle and the back middle as well, just again to help the, that fold not want to come undone or look weird. So same thing as before, I'm just gonna go to the middle, I'm gonna do a couple stitches forward and a couple stitches back. Just straight stitches and quick tack stitch and do that to the front and the back of each leg. Okay, so if you're not adding a drawstring, you are all finished and you made a pair of cute shorts. If you are adding a drawstring like I am, um, it's pretty simple, quick thing to do. Um, I'm going to use, like I said earlier, this lanyard ribbon from Zombie Bunny. So it's a little different than a traditional drawstring, but um, I love it, so it doesn't matter. Um, all I did was I folded my drawstring in half and I, can't, I measured out about where I would like it to end and I just clipped it. Now when you measure it, don't forget that you do need to tie a knot into it. So you probably want to do it about an inch longer than you think you're going to. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to find the middle of your front. So just fold your fabric in half um, so that the side seams are together. And that'll tell you where the middle of the front is. Um, because there's no seam, it's kind of hard to just eyeball it. Um, and then you're going to fold your drawstring in half. And you're going to place it. I put mine just below the elastic. Usually I put it above, but because this is a little bit thicker, I did it below. Um, and then you're just going to sew right in the middle of your elastic, of your drawstring a couple of times um, to keep it so that it's nice and in there. So I, I forward and backstitched and forward and backstitched because if it gets pulled, I don't want it to come out. Um, and there you go. Now you just need to tie the ends of your drawstring. Um, uh, yeah, I like to tie them and then you kind of want to clip the ends of them as well um, Just so that like you can see I've got that little bit of string there because it is ribbon um, I'm not sure how well this will hold up to washing, but I figured I'd give it a try um, But yeah, just tie the two drawstring edges I do like to leave a little bit of the the raw edge so that it can kind of get a get a little um, a Little shaggy effect. I guess I don't know how to explain it exactly but, um, but with this, I did clip pretty close because it's just ribbon and I don't think it's going to look the same, <laughs> but, um, but there we have it. We have now made the Gus and Steel rolled hem shorts, and I think they are absolutely adorable. Um, like I, I said here, um, you can put the drawstring up closer to the elastic. I didn't, and it's totally fine. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.